Hi, this is Tanya from Green Thumb Sisters. I know you can't see my face. Mm -mm. Let's see if I do that. Your hand chopped off. That's, that's fine. I was trying to get them to see what's going on in here. Let's see if you put it on my face, then they won't be able to see what's in it. Oh, whatever. Don't cheat. <laughs> Hi, this is Tanya from Green Thumb Sisters. And I talked to you guys about um, prepping and told you some of the various things that you could do with some of the items that you accumulate. And today I'm going to show you how I make my tuna. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll start with some eggs. I wanted like four eggs in it. So I bought me four eggs. Now, you can be all fancy and cut them if you want to. I'm not about that life. So I just yeah. mash them. I just mash them up. Uh -huh. Just mash them up. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, that one don't want to mash. That chicken might be mad. A rebellious chicken. Something like that, yeah. It's like I say, just mashing it up. So formal. Mm-hmm. You trying to eat. You not trying to... Well, you know, if you want to make it pretty, you can make it pretty. But again, that's not who I am. It still tastes the same. How long did you boil your eggs? Now, I like hard boiled eggs, so I usually let it come um, come up to heat or start boiling. And then once it starts boiling, I let it um, let them cook for another maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, topped. And then I usually let them sit in the water. If, I have, if I'm busy, I let them sit in the water and cool down. But if I'm not busy, then I take them out and put them in uh, some cold water to cool them down. Okay. What y'all think? Good enough? Yep, good enough. If you say so. All right. Like I said, this is just a dump method. You just dump it everything in. Don't complicate your life. As Mary J said, no drama. Just dump that stuff in there. So how much tuna was it? How much you put in there? That was one can, and these are... Uno momento. Where is it? These are four ounce cans, so it's eight ounces of tuna is what I'm putting in here. And this is tuna packed in water. Um, back in the day, I used to do it, the tuna uh, packed in oil, which if that's what you want, you can still do that. But you need to be healthy and all this good stuff. But, so. And now I'm just using some sandwich bread. You use whatever kind of sandwich bread you want. This is blue plate. Blue plate excuse me. This is what I grew up on, so that's what I like. Now suppose you don't have blue plate, then what you gonna use? Then you can use uh you can use mayonnaise, miracle whip, and just put you some relish in it. Same thing. And if you want this yellow tone, now Sandra likes it with a little mustard in it. Sure do. So if you want to do that, do that. Like I said, it's whatever you have. Don't make your life complicated. And you just mix this up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're from the South, which we are, mm -hmm. if you're from the South, you might want to put a little sugar in it. And since I'm from the South, I'm putting a little sugar. And I'm not talking like make it sweet, sweet, just a little sugar. That might have been maybe a fourth of a teaspoon or something like that. We ain't trying to make you diabetical. Right. And just mix this up together. <laughs> now, if this is too soupy for you, you can always add some more eggs or now, a lot of times I'll add onions to it. If I had some uh, chopped celery, I add chopped celery. You make it as fancy or as plain as you like to make it. You put in what works for you and what you know your family will eat. But anyway, and like I said, uh, you can do this once it sets up for a little bit because the eggs will absorb the liquid a little bit. Once it sets up for a little bit, you can put this on um, bread or even better, and it'll go much further with some crackers. And you got tuna salad for your family. And that took, what, no time? So like I said, prepping is about using what you have and feeding your family with what you know they will eat. Everything in here is something that my family eats and enjoys. So that's all it is. This is just, like I said, this is just one of our brief menus. We'll have more. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. So in case somebody was like, well, how do you make your tuna salad? Well, this is how I make it. 
So y'all have a good evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye.